Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening, Maria. Good evening, Anna. How are you? Teacher. Hi. I I I have a camera off camera. Uh -huh. Because I work. Uh, you're working right now? Yes, I cooking. Ah, uh, you're cooking. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I, I told you you were working. No sé cómo se dice turrón. What? It's, it's, I think it's the same. It's the same. But, but from where? What? What kind of turrón? Turrón. What do you mean by turrón? It's a um, batido de huevo. So that's a shake. Uh -huh. And what are you using that for? What? And what are you using that for? I don't understand, teacher. Y eso es para, para qué? Es para algún tipo de pastel o una comida especial o something like that? So es para tres leches. Three milk. Ah, uh, for that? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I said in the kitchen. Ah, ah, ah. That's cool. That's very nice. So you you like you like doing those things, right? You like uh the bakery things. Can you make can you make cakes and and all those things? What? Ah, uh, can you make cakes and desserts? Yes. Oh, that's that's nice. That's really nice. Yes, My, I. Uh huh. Do you take a course for for learning to do those things? Yes. Uh. Five years ago, mm -hmm. I I learned in the course of bakery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's really interesting. My wife knows how to cook, and she knows how to make cakes. She knows how to make those desserts. But I mean, it's a, it's very like rare that she does those things. I mean, she doesn't do that like like you know like often, just for special occasions sometimes. What did you? My wife can do it too. Uh -huh. I mean, my wife can do that too. But I mean, she doesn't do it like very often. Casi no lo hace muy seguido. Digamos que. Solo en ocasiones especiales. Me too. Ah, really? Yes. You too? Nah, okay. When I don't have um, many work, I uh -huh. make a free milk. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That's really cool. But uh, you don't, you, have, you, have you tried selling them? Try what? Selling them, vender. Ah, <laughs> bueno, esto que estoy haciendo son son mis cargos. Ah, really? Yes. That's, good. That's nice. That's nice. Por eso lo hago, porque si lo hiciera y no lo vendiera, pues como que no, no. Yeah, that's true. Sí, es cierto. Es cierto. Uh -huh. uh, no, okay. That's nice. So. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's good, Nubia. That's really good. All right. So, good evening for the rest of the class. Hey, me siento como que estoy hablando en la pared solito. Please turn on the cameras. Así no me voy a sentir tan solo. 
Hold on, teacher. I'm preparing my coffee. Ah, uh, yes. And why do you have the camera off? Puedo ver cómo preparar el café, hombre. <laughs> yeah. No. No problem. <laughs> ah, you see, like. Look at Diana. Solo me deja ver así como la, la parte de su frente. You see? <laughs> right, Diana? <laughs> okay, so. Vaya teacher, vaya teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, ahora sí. Uh, finally, I can see you, Diana. Yeah. So let's see who else is connected. Yeah, okay, this is Ruth, this is Vanessa, Carla, ah, Romeo is here, and Jennifer. Let's let's remain let's remember people that you know like it is a requirement to have the cameras on like the rest of the class. Just let me get a second. I need to check some things. The attendance list doesn't load and I don't know why. Nah, okay, I got it. Nah, okay. Okay, since we have a lot of information to share today, so let's start. And I'm gonna start with the attendance list. So if you're here, say present. So Ana Claribel, she usually comes late. Ana Maria, it's not here. Carlos Ademir, no right. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Ah, okay, mister. I le mandé mensaje hoy. Ah, okay, okay, Mister. I, I will, I will see them. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Ever de Jesus. Not connected. Ah, uh, Fatima Alejandra. Okay, not here yet. Hilmar Cruz. Okay, he's not here yet. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, Jonathan, thank you. Jorge Elvir. Mm, it's not here. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Margot Hernandez. Okay, she is not here. Maritza Alcida. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Natalie Vanessa. Not here. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Now, okay, good. Sara Carolina. Is that Sara here? No, right. Okay. Stephanie Lisset. It is not here yet. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. William Alberto. Is it William? No. Okay. And Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, good. Are you doing, do you continue doing the coffee? Preparing the coffee? Yeah, casi, yeah, casi. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Good. Ah, uh, and the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present teacher. Nah, okay. <laughs> okay, ese es un doble, un, un doble present. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Present. Uh, good evening. Okay, Ever. Good evening. Welcome. I'm a camera. I'm going to put it here in the attendance list. Yeah, you, Ever. Ever, Ever, Ever. Okay, Ever. Okay, Ever. Ah, I got it here. No, okay, good. So let's start with the information that we got for today. Okay, but before before getting to it, the information that I got for today, uh, I would like to know if we finished everything related to the 
exercises that we were practicing last class. Did we finish them? Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> Perdiendo the okay. flow, Hilmar. Come on, Hilmar. What, what happened, Hilmar? Ah, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, Mr. No problem. So I got it in there. So what are we gonna do right now? We are going to check the information that you were supposed to do yesterday. Okay. That's what we're going to check like right now. Right after that, obviously, we're gonna continue with the topic that we have for today. So just give me a second, I'm gonna share the screen. Okay. I'm gonna share this one. This one. Okay, this was basically the activity that you were supposed to be doing yesterday at the end of the class, okay, in groups. And the other one below this one. This one was related to countable and uncountable nouns using how much and how many, if you remember them. It says, I write a question to match each answer. ¿Qué teníamos que hacer acá? Just remember, read the answer, okay? And according to what the answer says, that will be the question that you will do, in that case, that you will create. Okay, for example, if you remember, we had this one, number one already done. It says, I have 50 boxes of thread. Okay, is it countable and uncountable? Ah, now related to what we were discussing in the previous classes, if you remember, we were saying that when we count something, we use how many? And when we cannot count something, so then it's a, an uncountable noun and it's used how much. Okay, so in here it says, I have 50 boxes of thread. What does it mean? That we can count the boxes, right, with thread. So what does it mean? It means that my question will start with how many, right? So I will start with how many, okay, boxes of thread, okay, do you have? And you see, you got it there, right? That was the answer. Oh, basically that was the question for that answer. How many boxes of thread do you have? I have 50 boxes of thread, okay. Now, let's check number two, how you did it. Ever, can you please help me on reading the answer to this question? The answer that you have there. Okay. The, the answer is the, the second sentence. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have some floor cleaners. Ah, okay. They have some floor cleaners. Can we count floor cleaners? Yes or not? People, can we count the floor cleaners? Podemos contar esa frase? Floor cleaners? Yes or no? I am expecting a volunteer to tell me if we can count them or not. Floor yes. cleaners like it's like a pinesol, no? Yeah, we might say the, that. The, like, the, like, yeah, the, the 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 things that you use. The liquid. Uh -huh. the, the liquid or 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 the. It can refer. It, uh -huh. it can refer to the liquids. It can uh, it can refer to the to the you know like the items that you use to clean. Okay, or you can even uh use uh the what. The people exactly you can even use uh, as people like to say floor cleaners right in este caso la palabra floor cleaners 
Eh, digamos que hay una variedad de, 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 de posibles traducciones. Una puede ser los líquidos que usa, otro los utensilios que usa para limpiar, y otros pueden ser inclusive las personas. All right, floor cleaners. Right, the ones that clean, people who clean. So you see? Entonces, pero como lo quiera ver, así van a decir. Is it countable or uncountable? That's what it matters right now. Esa frase, esa palabra que tienen ahí, ¿es contable o incontable? Primero que tenemos, lo primero, lo primero que tenemos que identificar es, ¿singular o plural está ahí? It's plural. Plural. Ah. Eh, 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 supongo que es incontable. Incontable. Uncountable. Y es. All right. Entonces significa que no la podemos contar. Y es. Como no, como no, si sí lo podemos contar. Contable. Se puede contar. Es, es, es depends. It depends. Si nos guiamos, yo, yo lo tomo, yo me guío por la respuesta. Que es sum. No da un número definido. Uh -huh. El culo. Cleaners. Ajá, pero cabe, otro, cabe, cabe recalcar, Ever, que en este caso la palabra SOM se puede usar sí. con nombres contables y nombres incontables. ¿Lo sabía? SOM con nombres contables significa algunos. SOM con nombres incontables significa algo o poco. <risa> All right. some, su some sugar, algo de azúcar. Some students, pocos estudiantes o algunos estudiantes. ¿Sí? Cantable and uncountable. Pero que tienen que identificar ustedes, like an easy way, right, to, re, to, to see if that is countable and uncountable. Ah, lo primero que tengo que identificar es, listen, los nombres no contables o los uncountable nouns no se pluralizan. No le podemos agregar S a esos nombres. Por eso nosotros no decimos sugars, no decimos monies. No decimos oils, waters, because we cannot do that, right? Entonces, esa es una de las claves principales para identificar si es contable o incontable. Y acá, what is the word? Dice, some your cleaners. It's plural. All right? So it means I can count them. Significa que los puedo contar. Okay? There you go. So, how... How is the question? Let's see. Yes. How many, how how many floors they have cleaners? How many? Floors they have cleaners. Eh, en este caso, floor cleaners es como una palabra compuesta. Va, van, una juntas, sola palabra. Van, van juntas. Ajá, floor. Cleaners. They have. They have. Pero antes de they have, necesito un auxiliar porque es pregunta. We need an auxiliary oh, verb. Sí, sí, sí. What is the auxiliary verb? Do. Yes, it's do. Do they have. ¿Sí? How many floor cleaners do they have? Like they have. Some floor cleaners. You see? There you go. So, entonces, ahí tenemos la respuesta. You got the answer over there. Now, next answer. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roxana, help me on reading the answer from number three, please. They have, uh, no, he needs uh -huh. two gallons of gas for the life. Lift. Left. Okay. He needs two gallons. Uh, all right. Uh, gallons of gas for the left. Uh huh. There you go. Now, what do we have to identify here? What we need to identify here is if we are talking specifically gallons. about the gallons or we are uh, specifying just the gas. Listen. Y nos referimos, okay, directamente al gas. All right, puede ser incontable, pero si nos referimos específicamente gallons of gas, how many gallons of gas, entonces ahí es countable. 
Entonces, acá tenemos dos escenarios para este tipo de preguntas. Two scenarios. How come? Con uncountable nouns. Check this out. Usando un uncountable noun. How much gas? Right? Does she need for the lift? Este, este es un escenario. This is one scenario. How much gas does he need for the lift? All right. Literally it says, ¿cuánto gas right? necesita? Ok. Para el elevador. In that case, put it like that way. All right. He needs two gallons of gas for the lift. All right. We can put it that and it's correct. Ok, another type of uh, uh, scenario. Ahora, el segundo escenario. How many gallons? Ok, of gas. Does he need? Is for the left. Let's check this out. So, both ways of questions are correct both ways if you have one of those is correct if you need con how much de esa manera is correct if you have it with how many that way is correct too both ways are correct so de ambas formas es correct okay there you go now let's read the next one uh hilmar tell me are reading uh, the next one the answer? Yeah, the answer. Okay. And then we want six packs of the butter bars. Okay, we want six packs of butter bars. There you go. And how is the question? And the question is how many packs of butter bars do we want? How many six packs? How many packs actually? Of, of butter. Okay. Of butter. Give me a second. What is it? Of butter. Other parts. Uh huh. Do. We want. Do we want? How many packs of butter bars do we want? Okay, we can put it this way, right? Here we go. How many packs of butter bars do we want? Does everybody have it like this? Todos la tenemos así. This one? Or do you have it differently? Or alguien la tiene diferente? If you have it differently, let me know. Ajá, do we got it like this? ¿La tenemos así? Yo la tengo diferente. Ok, how you have it? En el, it? The difference with food and is in the we. Um, I am putting you on uh, this part, part, part do you want to Ref referring uh -huh. referring to you as plural yes uh, like you like the ustedes okay. like you the ustedes how okay. many parts of butter bars do you want mm -hmm. yes Ok, ajá, you can put it that way too. Ajá, eso lo podemos también uh, modificar acá, ok. You can put it this way, the other way, right? How many packs of butter bars do you want? Ok, también lo, ponemos, lo podemos poner de esa manera. And this is still correct, ever, ok. This is still correct. Ok. Porque lo estamos tomando de otra perspectiva. Ok, both ways are correct in that case. Using both uh, pronouns in that case. You or we? Okay. En estructura, do we got it differently? ¿Alguien lo tiene diferente? 
in comparison to this one? Teacher, yo I am pack. Le había puesto package. Package. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Como paquete. Mm -hmm. Packages. Pero esa, esa era la única diferente que le había puesto. Sí. No, it's the same. It's the same. No problem in that case. You can use package, okay. right? Or you can use pack. It's the same. Ah. Uh -huh, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, okay. no, okay. Good. Now, let's read the last one. Uh, let's see who can help me out. William, can you please read the answer from the last one? Let's just start with the answer. William, are you there? Okay. okay. How, how much weather do we need? Do we need? Day, day. Ah, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me got it here. Let me put this one. Okay, because the answer says, let's see. Anna and Hugo need a lot of water, right? So you started with how much? Water. How much? Okay, how much? Water. Water. Yo sé okay. el pronombre de ahí. Ah, ah, do they need? Ah, eh, do they need? Ah, do they need? Okay, very good. Ah, how much water do they need? Okay, very good. Ah, acá ustedes tienen la opción de colocar ya sea el pronombre they o colocar los nombres propios, right? Like, how much water do Anna and Hugo need? Okay, or how much water do they need? Both ways are possible. Both ways are correct. Very good. So this is the way how will you fill up this information? Okay. If you have it this way, so then it's correct. Okay. Good. Now let's move on to the next to the next thing that you were doing. In this one, you will provide your answers because uh, you know, like everybody got very different activities. I'm gonna clear this this information. Now let's continue with the next one. This one, with the names and activities using have to and don't have to, okay? What are we gonna do? We're going to name the person that we got over here and you are going to mention only one activity from that person that has to do that person and one activity that that person doesn't have to do, okay? And I'm gonna start with, let me check. I'm gonna start with Jennifer. Jennifer. Can you read the information of one of the classmates that you were practicing yesterday with? One, you okay. say, first mention the name of that person, then one example using have to, and one example using doesn't have to. Okay, uh, Ever mm -hmm. uh, has, to, has to do his homework. Okay, he has to do his homework. And Ever, doesn't have to go tomorrow. No. Ever doesn't have to, yes, to go tomorrow, to go to work tomorrow. Ah, doesn't have to go to work tomorrow. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> there you go, Jennifer. Thank you. Ever, read yours. Read uh, yep. uh, activities uh -huh, from one of your classmates, the one from yesterday. Okay, yes. Jennifer has to wash the dishes. Uh -huh. Okay. And Jennifer doesn't have to go to the supermarket every day. Nah, uh, okay, very good. That's not an obligation, right? When it is using yes. negative. Good. And the second, William has to fix the bicycle. Bicycle, bicycle. Yes. And Willa doesn't have to send text message. Nah, okay, very good. Now, William, let's read yours. 
Just mention, uh, you can even mention one of them. Uh, be, uh, between Ever and Jennifer, just choose one. Okay. Jenny. Aha, okay. Do it. Uh, Ever, ever ask to the attention in the class. Uh -huh. And the negative, mm -hmm. uh, ever hasn't, hasn't it? Ah, eh, in, en este, ah, en este caso, tendría que ser doesn't have. Uh, Ajá. Doesn't have, doesn't have to. It. It, 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 in, in the, in. Ajá, in the morning creo que dijo, ¿verdad? In the morning. Ah, ok, very good. So, ahí ya estamos denotando un negativo, ok? Algo que no indica eh, obligación. There you go, William, thank you. <coughs> All right, good. Hilmar, are you there? Uh, with Nubia. Ajá, ok. Uh, Nubia has has to cook lunch every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, la otra sería, Nubia has to call to client of company. Mm -hmm. And the negative four, sería, Nubia doesn't have to wash the car. Mm -hmm. okay. The second, Nubia doesn't have to clean the house. Now, okay, very good. So like those are like the obligation that she has to do, all right? And the ones that she is not obligated to do. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, con Nubia me tocaba, pero no está, pero. Aha, uh -huh. I think she's 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 doing a uh, uh, tres leches or something like that, a dessert. That's what she told me. Uh, I think that's why she's not there. Okay, but anyways, uh thank you, Hilmer. Okay. Probably well, she, she, she gets connected uh, later on. So, Carla, mention the name of the person that you were working and just mention one activity in positive and one in negative, okay? Do it. Okay, teacher. Uh, yo trabajé con Diana y Ana García. Mm -hmm. uh, the first, they have to... She has to inventory every day. Yes. Uh, okay. To make an inventory every day. Okay. <coughs> so she um don't have to. She doesn't have to clean shelf. Doesn't have to clean. To clean shelf. Ah, the shelf. Okay. Yes. Now, okay. Thank you, Carla. Now, Diana. Okay. Mention the name of one person you were working with in the mention only one example in positive and one in negative. Okay. Um sería la actividad. Ah, Diana, no sé si soy yo o solo, solo yo, pero no le escucho muy bien. Ahora sí me escucha. Ah, ahora sí, ahora sí. Vaya. Sería la actividad de Carla. Uh -huh. um, she has to get up at 6 a.m. every day. Ajá. Uh -huh. Now one negative. Um, sería, quiero ver. She doesn't have to watch TV. Ah, ok. She doesn't have to watch TV. Okay, that is not an obligation. Thank you, Diana. Okay. There you go. Now, who's next? Y la de Ana también. Aha, yeah, but Ana is not here. No, she's not connected yet. But anyways, we're oh, going to okay. mention that because we need to, to move on with the, with the other classmates, right? Thank you, Diana. Okay. Good. Romeo, who do you work with? Ah, uh, con Rosa. Okay, just mention uh, one activity that Ruth does and one activity she doesn't 
Ahí él no, la hindú. Ok. Rosa has to deliver the report early. Uh -huh. um, she has to watch the work. Uh -huh. um, Rosa, she doesn't have to heal money. She doesn't have It'll... to give give money give her money ah okay give ah. her money ah okay but it also sería uh, she doesn't how to work to mm -hmm. or or to name ah okay there you go thank you Romeo okay ah uh, Roxana are you there con Rosa Ticha ajá ajá Sí, pero vamos a ir en una secuencia, no para la lengua de Ah, ah, ok. Ya, okay. Luego, luego va a participar Rosa, no para la lengua de Dash. Roxana, mention, solo mencioneme el nombre de una de las personas que usted anotó ahí. One activity in positive and one activity in negative. And that's it. Uy, teacher. Ajá, es que son compañeros nuevos, teacher, y no me los puedo. Ah, no, no, no anotó el nombre. No, dicho. Ok, solo menciona la actividad, no problem. Es una señorita de cabellera roja. Ah, so then, so then is Vanessa. Ah, Vanessa. Uh -huh. vale, eh, una sería... Eh, Ajá. She has to... To have uniform today. Ah, ok. ¿En the negative? En negative sería eh, she doesn't have she doesn't have obligation eh, watch window. Ok. Uh, uh, that would be better. She doesn't have to clean the window. That's it. Clean the windows, yes. No, nah, okay. She doesn't have to clean the windows. Okay, good. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, teacher. All right. Now, um, let's see who else were in the participation. Vanessa, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm driving. Ah, you're driving yet? Okay. Okay. Right. Ajá. Ajá. the dishes every day. Okay, she has to, okay, the wash, she has to wash the dishes every day. That's the one that you remember. Yes. No, okay, Vanessa. Good, dry carefully, okay? Thank you. Teacher. Okay, good. Ruth, are you there? Ruth? Hello? No, okay, I think she's not there. Rosa? Are you there, Rosa? Yes. Ah, okay, Rosa. Read the name of the person that you're going to tell, on, uh, that you're going to read only one sentence in positive and one in negative. Okay, and um, name is Romeo. Uh -huh. He has... He has to pay the bills. Aha. Uh -huh. And he doesn't yeah. have to work in the vacation. Nah, okay. Very good. So got it there, right? Okay, thank you, Rosa. Good evening, Jorge. So let's see. I'm gonna play with the last one. Uh, and the last one's gonna be Carlos. Are you there, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay, mention Good the name. Okay. Good evening. Mention the name of one of the persons that you were working with last night and mention one the name. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Uh -huh. The Man. name is, is Fatima. Ah, okay. Hey, Fatima, yeah. Uh, she has to do a sales report. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have to clean. 
her house. Her house, huh? Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Hey. And Jorge is gonna be the last one. Hi, Jorge. Hello. Since yesterday, we were practicing um, activities that your classmates uh, have to do and don't have to do. Okay. I want I want you to read the activities of one person. Only one activity in positive and one activity in negative. Mention the name okay. of the person and then one in positive and one in negative. Okay, perfect. And uh, yesterday working uh, with Vanessa and Roxanne. Uh -huh. Mention the activities uh, of only one of them. Okay, with Vanessa, mm -hmm. uh, she have to they watch the uniform every day. Uh -huh. And the, another word is the she don't have to read a book. She doesn't have to read a book. To read a book. Yes. Okay. She doesn't have to read a book. She okay. Very good. So thank you, Ori. So was part You're of welcome. the thank you. of the, the things that we were doing yesterday, right? Now. Yay. <laughs> yeah, working, like working, huh? <laughs> working in the homework. <laughs> My, yeah, yeah, we were like like doing that that part. Okay. okay, thank you. There you go. Now, what are we gonna do right now? We're gonna stop in here, like talking a little bit about that, and let's start up with the main topic that we're gonna have for the rest of the class. And what is the main topic? Ah, it's this one. Just confirm if you can see the presentation. Can you see it? Pueden ver mi presentación, me confirman por favor. Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay, nice. So this is the video conference number six, and the main topic that we are going to be talking about is demonstrative pronoun. Okay, demonstrative pronouns. That's the topic that we have for the class number six. So let's start off. What is demonstrative pronoun and how do we use them? Okay, this is like the main topics that we're gonna be talking about. One thing is the review from the previous topic, something that we finished already, algo que estábamos haciendo anteriormente, okay? The review from the previous topic or the previous activities. We're gonna discuss some questions, okay, related to buying products. And then we're gonna start with the discussion of demonstrative pronoun how to use them in sentences, how to use them in questions and answers. And then we're gonna do some examples, okay, to understand this topic in a better way. And at the end, we're gonna continue working in the manual, okay, but related to this, to this topic. Entonces, estos son los puntos principales que tenemos para el resto de la clase, right? Some of them are already done and some of them not. Not yet. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Question to discuss. Let's discuss this, these two questions that are at the beginning of your manual from uh, unit number two. Question number one, it says, how do you buy, listen up, how do you buy products from the places you like? And the second question that we're going to be discussing is, and how does a person buy a product from your company? If you sell products, of course. But let's start with question number one. How do you buy products from the places you like? And by how, I mean, what is the payment method, okay? How you do it and how do you do to acquire that product? Okay, let's start with that. Like when you buy something, uh, let me start with Jorge. Jorge, when you buy something, okay, how do you buy that? Uh, buy that, um, maybe product for my um, home, in this case, for example, uh, Say uh, shampoo, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And how do and what is the payment method that you use when you go 
to buy those type of products? Uh, the method of the pay, uh, credit card, or pay the effective? With cash. With cash, with cash, okay. Um, and others. And others. Cacao, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, there you go. Have you ever bought something online, Jorge? Yes. Okay. And uh, how do you feel when you buy something online? Is it effective or not? No, not effective. It's uh, not effective for you? Why? No, sorry. Uh, yes, effective for me. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I use the credit card or a debit card. Ah, okay. Okay. And the product is on time? No, it's, it's late for the, the uh, delivery. And delivery because the USA for the Salvador is <laughs> horripilante. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how much is the time that you have to wait for the product? One month, two months? Dep uh, ¿Cómo se dice depende? It depends. It, uh, it depends. Uh -huh. The product is this say sending the china for the usa in letter the usa for the salvador oh my god so the product it's sometimes comes from china to the US. one and, one and, month or three months maybe oh my god okay okay all right Jorge. thank you okay who else uh, uh let me see ever in your case how do you generally buy products ever and what is the payment method that you generally do? Okay, the, the one that you use. My last buy for bitcoins. Aha, uh -huh. you, no, you joking, with, no, joking. You pay no. with bitcoins? <laughs> for trade, trade cards. Really? Uh, you use a bitcoin now? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I use it. You're welcome. I receive. You're welcome, you're welcome. Excellent. <laughs> it's very, it's very easy, no? Really? Yes. Yeah. The, the, transfer, it, the transfer, the transfer, the in the wallet is very easy. And I don't know, maybe using the may, uh, the local wallet or the another wallet. No, I use I use the local wallet and a striker too, but the local wallet is more easy than yes. the other the other wallet. Yes. It's yes. very, it's very friendly. Okay. Nah, yeah. You using Binance or crypto coin? Or only crypto coins. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. nice, nice. Yeah. You're welcome. Let, uh, let's start uh, talk to you the, the topic. <laughs> sorry, teacher, sorry. <laughs> okay. So when, you, <laughs> so when you generally buy it, you use it uh, uh, using a credit card. General, generally, generally, no cash, cash. cash, cash. Uh, sometimes a uh, credit card only that we need to some uh, transactions or to the other country. You know, mm -hmm. when yes, only that. Ah, okay, good. Have you ever bought something uh, online? Uh, yeah, I use uh, to PayPal too uh, on credit card. Nah, okay. There you go. Thank you. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. William, how about you? What is the general uh, payment method that you use when you go to buy? Um, cash. Just cash? Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, have you ever bought something online? Um, Sometimes, one, one day, one one dies, uh -huh. only only dies and transfers uh -huh. the okay. bank. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, use use when you use like uh, bank transferences. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, have you bought products uh, from other countries? I mean, online. In the other country, no, never. Never. No. Have you ne have you never uh have you ever uh bought something in Amazon for example or any other source like that? Never. Never. 
okay. I, I believe I believe the I believe and the products in the other country is is in the Salvador. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yes. uh, yeah. I, I have a friend that he had a bad experience with that. Él compró una, bueno, una, una especie de, 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 de vajilla, you know, eh, como en 30 dólares, I guess, like 30 dólares, pero no se fijó, o, o no notó, que arriba decía mini, like very small. So when the package arrived to his house, todo le salió así como pequeñito. Yo pensé que era una gran vajilla. I mean, like the normal one. Pero todo era tiny. Era, 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 yeah, very tiny. Uh, uh, there were some casseroles that were like this. <laughs> and he was mad. I mean, he paid a lot of money and basically for nothing. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's, that's funny. That's really funny like when that, when that happens. Yeah, that's why, I mean, you have to be very careful when you buy something online. No, okay, good. So let's continue. Let's continue with the main things that we're gonna uh, that we're gonna do. Okay, we have some useful vocabulary for some activities that we're gonna do uh, next. So we need a vocabulary, for example, purchase. You know what is a purchase? Purchase has two meanings. Purchase as a noun. And purchase as a verb. Okay. Puede actuar como verbo y puede actuar como nombre. This word, purchase. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Como nombre significa compra. Purchase. Y como verbo significa comprar. Okay. That is purchase. All right. Do we got a synonym? Yeah. We got buy. Okay. Remember, like, like when you say, I want to buy this product online or in this store or whatever, and then you got want. Remember, that's like when you desire something, like for example, I want a new car, right? Or I want to buy a new car. So you see all those words are very related, okay? Each, each one of them. Credit card, I mean, like, like the payment method that you generally use, okay? When you buy something, debit card is likely similar. What is the difference between a credit card and a debit card? With a credit card, you buy something, as it says, buy a credit, right? In a debit card, you use it, but with your own money, like the money that you have in your bank account, right? That is the difference. Then we got order. What is order? Like when you buy something, okay? Like when you buy something online and you got the complete order, right? Like the product that you buy and, and like the package, right? That is the order. And then we got sell. Sell is like when you don't want something and you sell that product to an extra person, to another person. Like example, I don't want my car anymore. So I am going to sell it. Okay, remember that. It's like then there, right? Okay, those are like the main things that we're gonna have, okay, as vocabulary. And then we got pay. I remember like pay is like pagar. I mean, that's it, right? To pay. Okay, este es vocabulario que eh, en teoría ya conocemos, right? It is very normal for us to, to use, okay? Why did I put this? Because we're going to need this vocabulary in future activities. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now let's start with the grammar part about this, the demonstrative pronoun. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado este tema antes? Demonstrative pronouns? Have you ever listened or heard about this topic before? Is this type of yes. pronoun? Yes, it's like a this, this, or ah, okay. in español como ese, este, algo así. Ah, okay, yes, it's like that, ever. Okay, what is a demonstrative pronoun? Ah, we're gonna explain that right now. And I want Diana to help me on reading. Diana, are you there? Yes. 
Okay, help me reading, please. Uh, demonstrative pronouns. Is demonstrative pronouns. 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 Pronouns.
cuando hablamos de objetos en singular, only one, y que es dicho objeto está cerca nuestro, ¿ok? A tal grado que podemos tocar el objeto, señalar este objeto cerca de nosotros, right? Close from us, ¿ok? Example, I can say, this computer is very fast. ¿Por qué menciono this computer? Esta computadora, porque la tengo cerca de mí, ¿ok? I got it close from me. That's why I use this. Another relevant thing that you have to pay attention is that we use the verb be in this case. Con estos demonstrative pronouns, ok, generalmente solemos usar el verbo to be, ok, que va acompañado con el this, ok. En este caso usamos is. And why do we use is? ¿Por qué usamos is? Recordemos, porque is es utilizado más que todo para hablar de singulares. Ok, when we talk about only one thing, one object. Ok, one object. There you go. We got another example. Uh, let's see who can help me out reading. Maritza, help me out reading, please. I want to buy this pa pair of shoes. Ah, okay, thank you. I want to buy this pair of shoes. So you see what happened in that case? Probably you go to a shoe store and you say, hey, look, I want to buy this pair of shoes. It's because it's very close from you. That is specific pair of shoes, okay? Es cuando básicamente ya hemos, nos hemos probado este par de zapatos, okay, tan cerca nuestro. Y ustedes dicen, ah, quiero comprar este par de zapatos. So you see, something that is close from you. Y a pesar de que lleve la palabra shoes, como, you know, like plural, you might say it is plural. No, it is not plural. Why? Porque ahí estamos hablando de un par. You see? Singular, right? It's considered singular. One pair. So that's why we use this. Now, do we got an extra example? Yeah. Ana Garcia, help me out reading. He likes this cell phone. Now, okay. Very good. She likes this cell phone. So you see, it's like when you are in the store with an extra person, okay, and you say, hey, look, she likes this cell phone. She likes this cell phone. It's very close from you. Okay, for something that is very close from you, or you can even touch it. Okay, so I can say, right? Check this out. So I can say like this. Check this out. This is my bottle of water. ¿Por qué uso this? Porque está cerca de mí y yo lo puedo tomar con mi mano. Okay, this. Check that out. Okay, let's remember. We use this for items in singular and are close from us. That's the one. Now, taking this into account, can you give me an example by using one item that you have in your house close from you? I want one example. Let's write down one example using one item that you might have there, okay? Quiero que me escriban un ejemplo utilizando un artículo que ustedes puedan tener cerca de, like close from, from you, okay? Using this. Let's start out with that. And I'm gonna start uh, with Ever. Give me an example, Ever. Okay. Um, uh, this TV is turned off. This TV is? Turned off. Turned off. Like over or what? Or or this TV? I have this TV close of me. Or and ah, I ah, I no. try to say this TV is turned off right now. Ah, okay, okay, good. That's acceptable because you got it close from you. There you go. Okay, for the rest, if you have finished writing the example, just let me know, and you can read it. 
teacher one, one point only that I, I, I need to esclarecer it is, is clear to clear for this, uh -huh. clear in, this in, in, in the sentences for we explain to the meaning for this or that mm -hmm. uh, you use the noun that uh, between the, 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 the sentences for mm -hmm. this is something used for singular nouns that are close for nouns. Mm -hmm. This is other signification about this for know that. Uh, using the word that? Yes, yes. Yeah, that this is different. That, that, that is different, yes. It's different in the aspect it, of, of, of distance. Yeah, for Forgive to the signification about this or that. Use that between the sentences for other signification about this, that. Veo que utiliza el mismo dad en el significado o en la definición de this, que no está funcionando como demostrativo, es lo que le quiere decir. Es correcto, yes. Recordemos que eh, en este caso aquí ya la palabra that no está funcionando como un pronombre demostrativo, ¿ok? Sino que ya está funcionando, ¿ok? O está teniendo el significado de que. Entonces, that are close, que está cerca, from us, de nosotros. Pues sí, ahí ya tiene otro tipo de significado, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. It is not acting... You know, like as a demonstrative pronoun. Y ahí está actuando como un, oh, un nombre, okay? Actually, it is acting as a preposition. Nombres que están cerca, okay, de nosotros. That are close from us. Yeah, it's not a demonstrative pronoun in that case. Good. Did you finish, people? Bien. Tenemos los ejemplos? You got an example? All right, let's start. Carla, read the example that you have. Uh, this is chair is comfortable. This chair is? This chair. Is comfortable. It's comfortable. Nah, okay, very good. Okay. Maritza, thank you, Carla. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Okay. This is my case. Uh -huh. This is my case. Ah, okay. Keys. Actually, the, I, uh -huh. this is my case. Okay. En este caso, uh, Maritza, tendría que ser nada más una. Una. Y tendría que ser key. Only one is, is key. In the plural. Plural keys. Keys. Ajá. Ok. Solo que... my... Ajá. Keys. Solo que ahí, Maritza, eh, me está usando okay. plural. Y acá es con singular, solo una. Entonces, si queremos usar this. Ok. This is my keys. Ajá, my key. En este caso, sin S. ¿Por qué? Porque solo hablamos de una sola... Ya hablaríamos okay. solo de una llave. Ok. Only one. Es como, esta es mi... Okay. Okay. There you go. Very good. This is my key. My key. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Romeo? Thank you, okay. Romeo? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to this one. This lamb is black and ah. small. Okay, very good. There you go, Romeo. Diana? With your example? This is my pencil. Now, nah, okay. This is my pencil. Very good. Just give me a second, okay? Bien, denme un momento que voy a pasar asistencia y luego continuamos con los ejemplos de los demás. I need to pass the second attendance list before we continue. Let's see, Ana Claribel. Present. Now, nah, okay, good. Uh, Ana Maria. Present. ¿En qué momento entró? 
Hace como 20 minutos. Ah, it's because you don't have the camera on. My God. Se me van a quedar por no encender la cámara. Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Good. Uh, Eric Guillermo. Present. Okay, good. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Fatima Alejandra is not here. Uh, Hilmar Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, great. Uh, let me check. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay, good. Carla Benacer. Present. Very nice. Margot Hernandez. We got it here. No, right. Okay. Um, let me check. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Very good. Ruth Joanna. Ah, okay, okay, good. Yes. Sara Carolina. Not here. Hmm. Stephanie Lisette. Uh, do you have a Stephanie here? No, right, okay. Esta no baño, así. Vanessa Odette. Present. Ah. Ah, okay, very good. William Alberto. Present. Okay, good. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, great. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Eh, me voy a desconectar para pasarme a otro lado y ya me enlazo de nuevo. Ah, okay. Okay, okay gracias. Nice. Ah, uh, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, and the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay, great. So let's continue with the examples. Who's missing in these examples? Let's check. Natalie, let's read your example. Uh, uh, this house is very big. This house is very big. Huh? Uh -huh. Okay, very good. You're talking about only one house. Good. Thank you, Natalie. Hilmar? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the That's a good What do you do with that? Uh -huh. I like this computer. Ah, okay, good. I like this computer. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Let me check. Who else? Jonathan? Um, the cell phone is very slow. Oh. <laughs> Just the opposite the one from the one I got. Okay, good. This cell phone is very slow. Uh, Ana Maria. Mm, this sofa is very large. This sofa is very large. Okay, good. Yeah, acceptable. Uh, William. Uh, that beer is in the tree. No, okay. Uh, are you using that in that case? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ahora, deme un ejemplo usando this, algo que tenga cerca. Okay. Uh, this door is closed. Ah, okay. Good. This door is closed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jennifer. This is my... Backpack. Ah, okay. 
Ah, no, backpack. It's, it's, it's okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, let's see who else, who else? Vanessa? This is my glasses. This is my? Glasses. 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 Ah, okay. Glasses. In that case, will be this is my pair of glasses. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Ah, uh, who else? Ana Garcia. This window is very noisy. Ah, okay. This window is very noisy. Good. Uh -huh. Let me check. Carlos. Uh, I write in this notebook. Okay, very good. I write in this notebook. Something close for you. Nice. Rosa. I like this shirt. <laughs> okay, I can tell. I like this shirt. Good. Good example. And uh, let me check who's the last one. Mm -hmm. We are Carlos, Vanessa, Jonathan, my guy who's missing. No, I think all of you have already participated. Diana, did you participate? Yeah, right. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Pero si le digo otro. Okay, say another one. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this is my car. Uh -huh. Like the curious thing is that you say like this is my car and I don't see your car. Hmm. Sí, lo tengo a la par, <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. like, 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 uh, like like the forest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, show it to me. <laughs> Vaya, and, I, and I got the roof over there. <laughs> uh -huh. Y me vas a dañar un rayo McQueen like, over there. Ah, no. Ok. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> mm. Oh, nice. Ok, cool. Ok, y yo que pensé que me iba a salir con un McQueen over there like, like this. Ok. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Hey, that, that, that car is cool, Diana. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank now, you. let's use that. Okay, that's the other way around. Uh, Ana Maria, help me on reading this. Information. That is used with the singular nouns that are far from use and the we can't uh -huh. We can't touch in the moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ana Maria. Okay, when do we use that? Okay, it's likely similar to this. Es similar a this, con la única diferencia que los objetos de los que hablamos están lejos de nosotros. Okay, they are not close from us. So what is the translation for that? Eso, o esa. Okay, that's the translation in Spanish. Eso o esa. So we got some examples. Uh, let's see. Natalie, help me out reading this example. Okay, that store is far from here. Okay, that store is far from here. Esa tienda está lejos de acá. Okay, take a look at there, right? ¿Por qué no usamos this? Porque no estamos dentro de la tienda, right? Si estuviésemos cerca o dentro de la tienda, entonces dijésemos this store. Okay, but since it is far from us, so then we use that. Okay, that is, that is the way how we use it. And we use a store because we're talking only about one, only one. Okay, so that's why it's singular. So let's continue. Carlos, let's read the second example. 
that TV is perfect for my sister. Now, nah, okay, very good. Let's suppose you go to the, you know, like to the store and you say, ah, that TV is perfect for my sister. Probably you are pointing the TV, but the TV is, you know, far from you. Probablemente esté señalando el tele, pero no significa que está cerca de, de, ese, te, de ese tele. Probablemente lo ha visto a un par de metros de usted. So that's why we can use that. Okay. There you go. Okay. So in, okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. So in este caso, yo puedo decirle a Jorge, hey Jorge, that chair, that wood chair that you have looks comfortable. Ah, esa silla, si no está sentado, se ve cómoda. You see? Why do I use that? Porque no está ni por cerca. Okay. Okay, no estoy ni por cerca ahí. Ahí. De, 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 de donde está Jorge. So that's why I use that y no this. Okay? So just just keep that just keep that difference between this and that. So let's continue with the next example. Jennifer, help me already. Sorry, teacher. Me perdí. Uh -huh. No, lea el último. Okay, el, okay. Okay. el último ejemplo. Yes, the last example. I want to buy that, that car. Nah, okay, good. Supongamos que le digo a Diana, hey Diana, I want to buy that car. Quiero comprar ese carro que me mostró. So you see, en ese caso utilizaríamos that y no this. ¿Por qué? Porque está lejos de nosotros. Okay, that is the, that is the difference. There you go. Bien, hasta acá. Do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esa estructura? Any question or something that you don't understand very good? Like right now? Algo que no comprendamos del todo con relación a esta estructura? Or everything is clear? Okay, but you're silent, Miss think that everything is clear. Huh. Vamos a ver en los ejercicios. I'm gonna identify who understood and who didn't. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now let's put the other way around. Now it's these and those. Se parecen en pronunciación? Yeah. Solo hay una pequeña, pequeña, pequeña diferencia. Okay, this de singular y this de plural. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que una tiene la pronunciación más corta que la otra. La que usamos para singular, o la que acabamos de ver, es this. This. This en plural, así como la tenemos acá, es un poco más larga. This. This. Ok. Another one. Otra diferencia. ¿Cómo la podemos usar? ¿O cómo podemos identificar cuál es la de singular y cuál es la de plural? Easy. Por la forma del verbo to be. Con singular usamos is, con plural, ¿cuál es la forma del verbo to be que utilizaríamos? Are. Yes, sería are. Okay, ya no sería is, sería are. ¿Por qué? Porque acá ya vamos a hablar sobre, ok, items, ok, or nouns that are in plural. Ok, not singular. Let's put this into context. So let's read this part. Listen, these and those are used with plural nouns. Okay, entonces acá ya es lo opuesto. Estábamos viendo la, las dos frases o las dos palabras anteriores, okay, con singulares. Ahora estas son con plurales. How to use them in the same way as the other one? Check that out. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre these and those? Es como la diferencia entre this and that. This es para objetos que tenemos cerca, que okay, inclusive podemos tocar. Those para objetos que tenemos lejos de nosotros. Okay, that are far from us. Okay, entonces, ¿cuál sería la traducción? 
estos, estas, cuando están cerca. Esos o esas, cuando están lejos. ¿Ok? Those. So that will be like with those. So help me out, uh, Eric, help me out reading the first example. Okay, teacher. Uh, I need to send this document. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Very good. Check this out. I need to send these documents. Probably you got the documents on your hand. Okay. Probablemente usted tenga los documentos en su mano. Okay. ¿Y por qué usamos en este caso, right, this como plural? Ah, porque tenemos la palabra documents en plural. Si solo tuviésemos document with no s, so, entonces sería el otro que estuvimos practicando al principio. Okay, this, but the other way around with singular nouns. Let's keep that in mind. So let's read the second example, Jonathan. She has to buy the books. Okay, there you go. She has to buy those books, right? Ella tiene que comprar esos libros, okay? O aquellos libros. So you see, la que significa que esos libros están lejos de nosotros. Okay? Podemos verlos. Ya, yeah, podemos verlos, podemos observarlos en este caso, ¿ok? Pero están lejos de nosotros. Por eso utilizamos those. Ah, si estuvieran cerca, entonces utilizaríamos this. ¿Ok? That is the difference. Ok, let's keep going. Uh, let me check who is with the camera off. Hmm. Rosa. Help me read in this one. Rosa. He wants $1,000 to buy the new speakers. Ah, read that example again. Oh, yes. He wants 100 to buy that's new speakers. Ah, Sorry. Okay, very I good. <laughs> okay, thank you. So in that case, check that out. He wants $100 to buy those new speakers. So in that case, we got a plural noun. Okay, recordemos, cuando usamos this and those, ya vamos a usar los nombres, okay, o a lo que vamos a referirnos siempre en Plural, okay? Let's remember that in plural. There you go. Okay, right up to now. Do you have any question with this structure? Ahora bien, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con esta estructura? Something that might not be clear? Algo que no esté del todo claro? My dear students. Okay. So, yo podría decir, these students don't like to participate. Huh. I'm going to reprove them all. Hmm. <laughs> no, okay. ¿Por qué digo this? Because your screens are closed from me. Okay, that's why I can use this. So, another teacher can tell me, huh? hey, look, one, those students don't participate. ¿Por qué dos? Porque está viendo de una segunda pantalla, ¿ok? O están lejos de la clase, ¿ok? Por eso podemos utilizar dos, ¿ok? So let's keep that on mind, ¿ok? This for something close, but in plural. Those for something far, in plural. Creo que este tema es un tanto sencillo y por eso no vamos a tener ningún problema, I guess. Okay, let's continue. Now, how to ask questions with this? ¿Cómo utilizarlos en pregunta? It's pretty simple. Vamos a ver algunos modelos de preguntas que podemos hacer eh, cuando los incluimos. Example number one. Maritza, tell me a reading. 
How much are those books? Okay, there you go. How much are those books? Okay. Slide. ¿Cuánto cuestan esos libros? Romeo, read the answer. Uh, those book, books are $20. Okay, thank you, Romeo. Those books are $20. Okay. Ah, esos libros cuestan o valen 20 dólares. Okay. Let's put that into context, right? Another model of question. Vanessa, help me a reading, please. How much does this, compu this computer cost? Okay. How much does this computer cost? Y aquí es una pregunta un poco más formal. Okay. How much does this computer cost? Ah, ¿cuánto cuesta esta computadora? Probablemente ya esté cerca, ok, de donde se encuentra la computadora. Y por eso utilizamos this, ok. How much does this computer cost? Y probablemente el vendedor esté lejos, ok, de ahí. Entonces el vendedor me diría, Natalie. Read the answer. That computer costs a five. A, I know. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Five. I know. No. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Very good. Yes. Five hundred dollars. There you go. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, allí en esa en esa respuesta por qué cost Lleva ese. En la respuesta. Sí. Ok, porque estamos hablando de un singular, de una sola computadora. Entonces recordemos que si yo quiero eliminar la palabra computer, puedo colocar it como pronombre. Uh -huh. Ok, y si recordamos en presente simple, cuando hablamos de singulares, al verbo tenemos que agregarle s. Ah. Uh -huh. Tercera persona. Tercera persona, that's correct. Uh -huh. A third person. Ok, y recordemos que como no solo lo utilizamos para una, para, para hablar sobre he o she, ok, sino que para objetos también, por eso es que lleva cost. Y por eso en la pregunta llevamos does y no do. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, si ahí, dije, si ahí tuviésemos a uh, computers, like plural, ah, entonces ahí sí, without s. Okay, with no S. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Ever, let's read the question. Can I see this formal shirt? Okay, can I see this formal shirt? Good. William, read the answer. Okay. Sure. Uh, Aha, William. What size? Ah, what size do you need? Uh, ah, okay. What size do you need? Okay. Very good. So that's the answer, okay. right? Very good. Thank you, William. So it's like, ah, okay. can I can I see uh, this formal shirt? And probably the seller tells you, ah, sure. What size do you need? Okay. It's like, ¿puedo ver esa, esa camisa formal? Ah, y el vendedor diga, ah, seguro. ¿Qué talla necesita? So you see, in that case, that will be the model of answer. Okay. So, uh, do we have any question with this? Because if we don't have any question, let's go straight to the manual. Because in the manual, we got some activities to do, okay, and to complete. So, let's move on there. Vámonos entonces al manual. Let's work in the manual. So, I'm going to stop sharing here, and I'm going to press the manual. Give me a second. I'm going to put the manual uh, so we can continue with the activities that we got over there.
And the first thing that we're going to be doing in the manual is this part. I want you to go to this page. Right? I want you to go to the page 19. Go to page 19. To specifically to the exercise number two. Okay, go straight to the exercise number two. Quiero que nos vayamos directamente al ejercicio número dos. And it says, listen to the pronunciation of the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Then write down the steps in order. Bien. Acá tenemos una lista, okay, de pasos a seguir. Check this out. De pasos a seguir para hacer una compra en línea. An online, okay, purchase. What are we going to do in here? Bien. Lo que yo voy a hacer es, les voy a leer cada una de, la, de las frases acá, okay, para practicar la pronunciación. Y lo que ustedes me van a hacer es colocar en orden los pasos, okay, o la secuencia de cómo hacer una compra en línea. Okay, from step number one to the last step. And how are we going to do it? ¿Y cómo lo vamos a hacer? Easy. Lo vamos a hacer en grupos de trabajo como estuvimos haciendo la vez pasada. Así que solo voy a leer la pronunciación para que podamos practicarla. ¿Ok? Y luego nos vamos a ir a trabajar en, estos, en, estas, okay, en estas actividades. So, let's check this out. Listen up. It says, credit cards information. ¿Ok? Credit cards information. What does it mean? It means it got produced the information, the specific information that you need from your credit card. Okay? La información de la tarjeta de crédito. Then we got confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information and submit. What does it mean in Spanish? Confirm your information and submit. Confirma tu información. And y aceptar. Y aceptar o enviar en este caso. Okay? Ajá, both ways. Good. Select the item or items to purchase. What is it? Select the item or items to purchase. Seleccionar el artículo para comprar. Okay, very good. Selecciona el artículo o artículos okay, a comprar. Go to the online web page. What is it? Ir a la página en línea o... Okay, very web. good. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. What is that? Your billing address is your information where you live. Okay. So, básicamente es la dirección donde usted quiere que le llegue el producto, right? That is the billing address. There you go. Now, check the price. What is it? Check the price. Okay. Uh -huh. Confirm the method of payment. Confirmar el método de pago. Yes, that's correct. And the last one, log in to your account. Entrar a mi cuenta, a tu cuenta. Okay, very good. Yeah, like acceder a tu cuenta, right? There you go. What are we going to do? Bien, como nos vamos a ir a trabajar en grupos, acá me lo van a escribir en orden. Los pasos a seguir. ¿Qué es lo primero? ¿Qué es segundo? Per, next, 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 to, to the end. From step number one to step number eight. Okay. Cuando terminemos de eso, let's pay attention to this. Cuando terminemos de ello, check this out. Dice, el siguiente ejercicio. Circle the correct answer. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Dice, ponga en círculo, okay, o seleccione en círculo la respuesta correcta. Para completar qué? La oración. Let's do one example. Dice, it's necessary to follow, 
Aquí tenemos those y tenemos that. Y acá tenemos steps to purchase what someone needs. Para completar la oración, ¿cuál debo seleccionar? Those or that? Those. those. Very good. ¿Cómo tenemos que identificar si es those o that? Por el, la siguiente palabra, acá, steps. Como dice steps, recuerden, es plural. ¿Ok? If it is plural, recordemos que that es para singulares, entonces no podemos utilizarla. Tiene que ser those. Entonces ahí, para los que tienen ya el manual impreso, simplemente seleccionan el círculo. That part. ¿Ok? Así me van a hacer la número dos. Number three and number four. When you finish that, okay, the last part that we're going to be doing is this one. Bien, cuando ya terminemos esa parte, okay, vamos a irnos directamente a la siguiente página, específicamente al ejercicio cinco. Exercise number five. Ahí, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Write the correct demonstrative pronoun. Escribir el pronombre demostrativo que mejor complete la pregunta. O, oh, ya, yeah, in this case, la pregunta. It says, bien, vamos a hacer la número uno a modo de ejemplo. Dice, do you want to buy, y luego tenemos acá, tablet. Bien, ¿cómo nos vamos a dirigir o por qué nos vamos a dirigir? A veces la respuesta puede ser el método para conseguir el tipo de demonstrative pronoun que necesitamos. Dice, yes, I want to buy the black one. Entonces acá, ¿cuál es el demonstrative this. pronoun que debemos utilizar? This. This. Very good. This. The one that is in singular, right? T-H-I-S. This. Very good. Bien, entonces, eso es, la, eso es lo que vamos a hacer, right? Those three activities are the ones that we're going to be doing. Si tienen alguna duda... Ok, ahí les va a aparecer un botón de Ask for Help, la cual me envió una notificación para poder acceder a la sala donde van a estar trabajando, the breakout room that you're going to be working on. So, let me check, I'm going to put the, the work groups. How many people are we? Ah, 20. That's pretty cool. Teacher, comparta la, la, la parte de los ejercicios, por favor, solo para tomarle captura. Ah, uh, okay. Give me a second. Just the exercise part. Los últimos? Eh, no, el primero. Ah, okay. Bueno, también ese, espérame, espérame, espérame. <laughs> no se ponga a reír, <laughs> que si no va a salir mal en la captura. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Okay. Va, el otro teacher. Ajá, ese. Y el otro. This one. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Ya te Perfecto. There you go. El número dos me hizo falta, teacher. Number two. Mm. Bien, ahí lo va a discutir con los compañeros entonces. Ah, don't you have it? Mm, no tiene el manual, Ana María. No le oigo, teacher. Don't you have the manual? No tiene el manual. ¿O a qué se refiere con el número dos? Ustedes le oyen al teacher. Sí. Sí. Yes. Apoyo. <laughs> Su computadora me odia. Ah, you see. Venga, tío, Ana María. Yes. ¿Por qué? <laughs> very, very, very. Quiero el. Quiero. Eric, pásame la segunda hoja. La segunda ejercicio. Por favor. ¿El segundo qué, perdón? El segundo ejercicio. Ok, ya se lo mando. No Gracias, Jerry. Que esté resuelto, por favor. Give me a second, give me a second. Vendo, vendo. Eric, ok, por favor. good. Aceptemos ahí. Bitcoin. <laughs> ok, let's accept in there. Ok. Accept And... Bitcoin. <laughs> ok. Compro Bitcoin. <laughs> Now, let's accept the information there, people. Please.
Ah, eh. El 2 y el 3, pero el 3 es el que le voy a enviar a Ana María. Ok, este, no sé si ya pudo estar trabajando en el, en el número 2, mientras que el teacher estaba eh, explicando lo demás, Marixa. My God, when I was explaining and you were writing, huh? Hi, teacher. La verdad que no había identificado que acá estaba. Eh, no, es que ya se sabe qué es lo que pasa, que se acostumbra uno al recording program. Ah, yeah, I mean, and I, I don't know why, I mean, let me check. No, it's still, ajá, uh -huh, ya. Yeah. Sí, está grabando y no sé por qué la vocecita no aparecía ahora. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes appear, sometimes that. Okay. But everything uh, is clear. Uh, any question that you might have? Uh, yeah. Or everything I, is clear? I, I think, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, and, and, the num and the number three is vamos a uh, um, use the demonstrative pronoun. Yeah, you are going to use only like demonstrative uh -huh. pronoun. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Correct mm -hmm. demonstrative mm -hmm. pronoun. The best fit the answer. And the number five. Sí, sí, creo que no hay dudas, teacher. Nah, okay. Good. Si no, le pedimos la ayuda. Okay, good. Thank you, uh, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. That's the information. Yes, okay. yes. And okay. number eight, confirm the method of payment. Okay. This is, is, is the form and uh, user for me in the purchase and, and a web, web online. Sí, sí. Sí, de, sí, así. Así lo tengo. Oh, en el primero no me había fijado que sí, a ir a la online web. Ah, ok, go sí, to online. El de online. Web. And this, number three. Sí. Creo que es de ponerlo en círculo ahora. Yes, yes. Circle, yeah. Circle, ok. Christoph. Ok, let me see. And, uh, Hello, people. How are you going in there? Dots. Hello, teacher. Como vamos? Dots. Okay. I know circle, but I try the resaltar. <laughs> Mark the, the text. Okay. And the number two, I think in that I That's want to up. Big bet, big desk, duck. Duck. Okay. I like it. Okay. Do you want to buy this, this refrigerator? Refrigerator. It's come is um, in four in four different color. Oh, there's this. For me, it's this. This. This is the refrigerator. This is the refrigerator. This. All right, good. I see, I see, I see, guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy okay, two tables. Two tables. Yes. 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 Excellent. Let me know when you okay. finish, okay? Okay. 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 Or you can recheck because I'm going to check all the groups. Perfect. No problem, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Great her information. La última, confirm your information. Write your billing. Billing now. Why am I the only one that appear in that uh, screenshot? Porque soy el único que va a aparecer en ese screenshot. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Pero salió bien, teacher. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time I, 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 I look good. Yo por eso, yo por eso la hice. Jesus Christ. Okay, good. There you go. Let's keep going. Let's continue, okay? Okay, teacher. Nice. I'm going to check out the groups. Information. Credit card information. Why? 
Uh -huh. a ver. Eh, porque mire, uh -huh. dice, vamos con el primero, dice, vamos a eh, la página web, de ahí le damos login a la cuenta, seleccionamos el, item, el, el, el artículo a comprar, chequeamos uh -huh. el precio, confirmamos el método de pago y de ahí empezamos con el credit card information. Uh -huh. Así está bien, teacher. De ahí confirmar Ajá. la dirección de factura. Y que no venía el teacher. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm just, I'm just paying attention to what you're saying. All right. Ajá. You got, let me, let me check. You got number one, right? Uh, go to the online web page. That's number yes. one, right? Uh -huh. Number one. Step number two. Login in the your account. Yeah. Login to the your account. Last one. Number three. Select the items for pushers. Okay. Select the items or item to purchase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Number four. Check the price. Mm -hmm. There you go. Check the price. Number five. Confirm eh, el, el método de pago. ¿Es en el right your billing address? No, right. Right no. after the billing address has to be, ok. Confirm the method of payment, ok. Mm -hmm. Right after Después, that. Credit card information. Credit cards information. Ajá. Uh -huh. and, the, and the next one. Eh... Write the billing address. Write the okay your billing address, and the last one. Aceptar. Confirm your information and submit. If you have it like that, good. That's the way. Which. <laughs> Yes, yes obviously obviously i know you can mm -hmm. yes okay let's move on if you have finished with that one let's move on to the next one mm -hmm. okay. okay good La otra, quiero ver si le tomé. La otra es la que se elige dos en sí, dar, ¿verdad? Sí. La primera era, ya dijeron que era dos. Dos. Necessary, necessary. La segunda es dar. Ah, ¿por qué no leen las oraciones y incluyen la que es correcta? Y, o alguien que tenga... Eh, Los tres están usando un celular. Sí. As a payment. Oh, okay. Uh, as something. Okay. Ajá. Because simplemente vayan diciendo el número de la de la oración y si los tres están con el con el manual, okay. Solo mm -hmm. lean la oración completa y incluyan el el demonstrative pronoun que crean que es el correcto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. But en la segunda decía I think that I want to buy big this. I let it. Yo ahí that. creo que es that. Uh -huh. Ajá, because uh -huh. those is for that big this. Uh -huh. Yes, I think that I want to buy. There we go. Yes. Very good. Um, exactly. Buy... Exactly at 10, we're going to cut up, okay? A las 10 exactos yeah. vamos a regresar. There you okay. Go. Nice. Do you want to okay. buy this or this? Los los ítems. Luego chequeamos el precio. Eh, luego escribimos la dirección. Confirmamos el método de pago. Mm. Sí. Pues, así tendría que ser. All right, if you finish, if you finish that part, let's continue. Okay, si ya terminamos esa parte, entonces 
Vamos al si siguiente ejercicio. Solo tenemos una duda. What, what la now? ocho que es. La ocho. Num number eight. Uh -huh. Log into your account. Ah, log into your account es... Eh, es como entrar a tu cuenta. Ajá, pero es, sería como entrar a la cuenta de uno como para pagar. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, Recuerde que generalmente cuando compramos en línea siempre hay como un tipo de, 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 de profile, de perfil que usted crea de cuenta para poder acceder y colocar sus datos personales. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yeah, that's, that's ah. how it works. Pues íbamos bien. Esa no es la que íbamos a poner como dos, no puede ser. No, ok, les quito. Se quedó. Va. Eh, está que ya lo habíamos ordenado, pero ya se me olvidó. <risa> Ah, ok. Espero que se vuelva a conectar. Ah, este. Let's continue with the next one, ok? Sí. Ok. Number six. And I, I interested on makeup. What do you think? What is the correct demonstrative pronoun in there? I think uh, I think this, my friend and I are interested on this makeup. This makeup is, is sing singular. Or this makeup. That. Okay, uh -huh. My friend, my friend and I are interested on that makeup. Listen up. Both ways can be correct. Ambas formas pueden ser correctas siempre y cuando no escribamos los demonstrative pronouns que expresan plural o que hablamos en plural. Puede ser this en singular o puede ser that in singular, ¿ok? Sí, sí. Pero no puede ser this de plural o those, ¿ok? Ah, oh, ok. ¿Por qué? Porque makeup is, is, is something, ¿ok? Uh, that is not plural. Yeah. Very good. Entonces, siempre que vean, siempre que vean, noun sin singular, ah, pueden usar lo, cualquiera de los dos que corresponde a singular y noun sin plural, cualquiera de los dos que corresponda con los plurales, ¿ok? Ok, okay. okay the next one, um, bring packages? Singular. Sweat, sweater, sweater. I have to go to. Mm-hmm. Hi, teacher. Pero dice four. Four. Cuatro. Cuatro. Ajá, es plural. Teacher, una pregunta. Ajá. Es entre that, that y this. Los Where? dos se ocupan para singular. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what exercise you're talking about? Uh, six. Number six. I have to and the, five. That's number five. Uh, exercise five. Ah, uh, uh -huh. And uh, number six. Okay, number six. I have to go to buy, and it says new books at the library. Esa, number six. Uh -huh. Is that 
o sí? No. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ahí no puede ni colocar that, ni colocar this, this de singular. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene, ah, tiene la ah, palabra sí. books, es plural. Es el plural. Es yes. Puede those. utilizar this de plural o those. Cualquiera de los dos son correctos. Con tal no me escriba this and that, is correct. ¿Ok? Ok. There you go. And how about the other one? Sí, en la, en la four, did you bring this package or that? Pack. Very good, yeah. In that case, this package or that package? In singular. Cualquiera de las dos. Yes, cualquiera de las ah, dos okay. es, es correcta. And number five, uh, you can have uh, those. Those or these. Okay, very good. Okay. Pero entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre these y those? This and those. Ah, this, de plural, es para cosas que están cerca de nuestro, ¿ok? Podemos decir como estos o estas, están cerca de nosotros y es plural. Those son para objetos o cosas que tenemos lejos de nosotros, ¿ok? Y que de cierto modo no podemos tocar, ¿ok? Y decimos esos, esas, ¿ok? Aquellos. No, pero, aquellos. pero, this con T-H-E, la diferencia mm. con T-H-O. O es, es, es como sinónimo. Ah, creo que no lo entendí. Es que, eh, o, o, o más bien, vaya, en plural puedo ocupar cualquiera de las dos, this o those. Ajá. Ah, ok. No tiene nada que ver con que uno es lejos o cerca. No, en este tipo de oraciones no, porque no ah. tenemos ese contexto. Ajá. Aquí es de modo general. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. You're using it in a general a way. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues ya terminé. You finished? No, okay. Yes. Very good. Creo que los demás <laughs> igual ya han de haber terminado. Así que, yes. let's go to the main section. Vamos a la sección principal entonces. Okay, teacher. See you there. I got it, I say, love you. Sorry, no, ya me vi que estaba aquí. Jorge. Jorge. Dígame, señor. <ríe> Tell me, Gilmar. <ríe> es el que sale con un refresco de fresa en una patineta. What? No me dirás que sale en un, un video viral de un refresco en una patineta. Ah, sí, 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 el chamaco tomando la, la, el jugo, el patineta. Será de un pibe muerto ahora, joder. Ese hombre ganó billete. Feria hizo. <ríe> Solo con ese jugo. Sorry, teacher, es commercial. <ríe> I know, listen, teacher. Your microphone is off. Teacher, your microphone is off. Perdiendo flow, el teacher. Cabal, lo bloqueado. Hablando solo. Hablando solo. Y con el micrófono lo apagado, my God. No, no. Lo ya... why, why Así son los de San Miguel, hablan solos. Ay, y a él le ha pasado varias veces. Compartan el video. No, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's true. I was reading that information uh, some weeks ago, pero ese es. Ese fue como el año pasado a principios, creo. Like, que yes. el, el señor se le molestó el carro y iba de, y... iba de camino a trabajo. Ajá, y tomó la patineta, creo, de su hijo o algo así. Se yes. fue al trabajo en patineta y e iba grabando un video y tomando jugo. Y por eso uh -huh. se hizo famoso. 
It just yes, it's the attitude. The attitude. It's only yeah, the attitude. attitude. Yeah, Comparte el video en el grupo. Ya, yeah, mi, es como la, 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 señor, la señora de ahí, de por, por, por esos lados, por San Salvador. That she got famous just by a dancing. Uh, <laughs> ah, la del centro, la del centro. Uh, yeah, uh, uh -huh. Dudia, Dudia. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the video is 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 sharing in the in the platform. I see tomorrow this class. Okay. You see the you see the, the grouper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nah, nah. Better better check this. Okay. Let's check in a general way. Okay. Let's check the information that that you put in in here. Okay. Vamos a revisar de manera un poco general, a little quick. Okay. Just to finish the class. Okay. What goes in number one? What do you have in number one? Go to the online web, web page. Okay. Does everybody got that? ¿Todos Le... tenemos esa? Sí. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Go to the online web page. What is the second step? Log in to your account. Log in to your account. Okay. Very good. Step number three. Select, Select the IT related project. Purchase. Ah, okay, very good. Select the item or items to purchase. There you go. Step number four. Check the price. Check the price. Okay, the price. very good. Check the price. Step number five. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Write the billing address. Yes, for me, yes. <laughs> no. Check the price. Uh, confirm the method confirm. of payment. No. Check the, the confirm the payment is a fine at the last. No. No. Uh, después de que chequeo el precio, yo, uh, yo voy a selecciono confirmar la el forma de pago. De pago. Uh -huh. Ahí Number selecciono. Please, se Pero selecciona el método de, de, de pago antes de revisar el precio. No, primero no. seleccionas el ítem, check the, luego checas check el price. precio, uh -huh. luego seleccionas tu dirección. Okay. 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 ok, 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 yo just got divided, divided things ah, in there. Ajá. Ah, hagamos algo, entren todos a la página de simibo.com.es Ok, now, listen, listen up, listen ah. up. For a better way to understand this part, this part I'm going to read the correct information and you just check, ok? The okay. one uh, that is according to the system. All right, number one, go to the online web page, right? That's number one. Number two, log in to your account, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three, select the item or items to purchase. Yes. Number four, check the price. Check the price. Yes. Uh -huh. exactly. Number five. Offer the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Así es. Number. In this case, the the pass uh, maybe write your billing address or the credit card information. Okay. Right after, final. right after the payment method. The credit card information. Write, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Write your billing address. Okay, and then. The credit card's information. Okay, and the last one, confirm your information and submit. Yeah. Those are the steps. Todos los días hago yo eso para Estados Unidos. Teacher, teacher, espérese. Después del, del, del quinto, ¿qué va? El sexto. <laughs> okay, no, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. No, write your billing address. Write your billing address. Hoy pago una de tantas, novia. Sí. No, nah, I'm kidding. Ya no, me va, ya no me va a mandar tres leches. Write your billing no, address. No. Number seven, the credit card's information. Okay? Uh -huh. And the last one, confirm your information and submit. Ah, okay. 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 All right. Good. Let's move on. Okay. In this. Uh, I want a volunteer to help me on reading number two because number one, we did it. Uh, let's see, Ever, read number two, please. Like, kind of quick. Using only the correct word to complete the sentence. Okay. Number two. Yeah, number two. Num Be 
Porque la número uno ya la hicimos. If you remember, I gave it to you. I think that I want to buy that big desk. I like it. Yeah, it's that, right? Why? Because we got big dress, only one, I mean desk. Only one desk. Jorge, let's read number three. Uh, do you want to buy this refrigerator? It's All coming right. in four different colors. Very good. This, the one from singular, right? Very good. Now the number four, Jennifer. Jennifer? Number four, I'm going to buy this, this two tablet with uh -huh. this credit card. Okay, I'm going to buy these, the one for plural, these two mm -hmm. tablets, okay, mm -hmm. with this credit card, right? The one from singular, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Now, now number five, and we want to finish with this. Maritza, let's read example number two, the question. Do you want to buy this tablet? Ah, yeah, that's number one. Esa la hicimos eh, antes de irnos a los ejercicios. Leanme la número dos. Read number two. Okay, sorry, teacher. Okay, go. Can I see these jeans? Okay. These jeans, okay, or those jeans. Ambas formas, si las tienen, son correctas. This, the mm -hmm. one for plural, or those, okay? But not this for singular or that. You cannot use that one, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Now, Ana Maria, let's read number three. That. Solo lo que era, yo solo lo hice es real, porque lo tenía ya, y ya no voy a leer más. All right, my friend and I are interested on that, that makeup or this makeup, okay? The ones that are used for singular, okay? There you go, very good. Uh, let's continue. Eric, let's read number four. Uh, did you bring this package? This, the one for singular, right? Yes. Very yes. good. Or that package is also correct. Okay. This okay. or that. Very good. And uh, number okay, five, you. Carla. You can add this you for sweaters, sweaters to the shop. Okay. This, but the one for plural or singular? Plural. Okay, this for plural. Very good. The one for plural. This or those. Those también puede ser correcto ahí, okay? Okay. Okay, and number six, the last one, Hilmar. <laughs> dots. I have to go to buy dots, the new books. At the library. Okay, I had to go to buy those new books at the library, ya sea those or these. Okay, both ways are correct. Okay. Siempre y cuando representen el plural. Nosotros lo vimos como que allá estaban en la librería. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Entonces, both ways are correct. All right, people. So, this is basically the last activity that you were, uh, that you were doing, okay? Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list. So we can finish the class. So give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna go up, go up. Okay, Ana Claribel. Ana Claribel. Is it there? Present. Ah, okay. You're there. Ana Maria. Present. Nice. Carlos Ademir. Present. Very good. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever de Jesus. Present. Nice. Fatima Alejandra is now here. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Okay, Hilmar. Since yes. Fatima, let me check. 
because yesterday was ever. So today was Fatima's turn, all right, on the 10 minutes feedback. But since Fatima is not here, it's going to be your turn, okay? Okay. Está bien. Okay. Nice. Oh, y me queda libre mañana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. I think it's not there. Present. Ah, okay. Okay, Jonathan. Jorge Elvir. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh, Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay, Margot is not here. Maritza Alcira. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, good. Romeo Alexis. Present. Nice. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, good. Ruth Joanna. Present. Okay, Sara Carolina. Ah, she's not here. Stephanie Lisset is not here. Vanessa Odette. Vanessa, are you there? Present teacher. Ah, okay. Present. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. William Alberto. I think I'm here. Uh, he's, he's not here. Okay, and then we got uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Good. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. There you go. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, nice. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. Uh, okay, very good. So people, that's going to be everything for today's class. Let's remember, ok, en la sección de discusión igual les voy a poner un par de, un par de eh, indicaciones ahí. So please, let's, let's try to do the discussion section. Ahora les va a quedar el tema de, de este día en esa parte de discusión. Lean la indicación y pueden seguirla, ok, lo que ahí les voy a, les voy a colocar para el día de mañana, ok. Eh, como les había mencionado, vamos a continuar con esa discussion topic, like everything, for every single topic. Así que, si no hay nada más que agregar, let's see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Do the homework and have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye. Good night, teacher. Guys, right. see you later. See you later, man. Bye bye. Bye, Natalie. <laughs>、uh, we're gonna have 10 minutes, okay, for you to ask any question that you might have related to this topic and the previous topic. If you have any question, any doubt, this is the time for you to ask. Yes, si, yo tenía un poco la duda en la clase de ahora, en this class, solamente en cuanto al this y al that. Uh -huh. eh, eso es lo que tenía como eh, tengo un poco de confusión eh, cuando utilizar el dat ajá check this out cuando está diciendo esto así va ok tenemos sí. this y tenemos that por ajá. el otro lado tenemos this y tenemos dos dos Okay, this and that, it's for, listen up, singular nouns. Cuando usamos nombres en singular, okay. okay. These and those are for plural nouns. Cuando usamos nombres en plural, okay. okay. 
Good. Ahora bien, ¿cuándo utilizar this? ¿Cuándo utilizar that? It's pretty simple. Check this out. I'm going to put in a representation. Okay. Let's start with this. Y pongamos acá más abajo. Uh, that. Ahora bien. Bien. Una manera bien sencilla de poder identificar eh, eh, este tipo de, este tipo de eh, estructura. Y se lo voy a explicar con preguntas, Gilmar. Check this out. ¿Qué es esto? Check this out. Gilmar, una pregunta. What is this? Uso this porque es un objeto que tengo cerca de mí sí. y no puedo tocar. Y Muy es bien. singular. ¿Ok? ¿Eh? Está cerca de mí. What is this? ¿Qué es esto? Ah, usted. Como está lejos de este objeto que yo estoy mostrándole, usted no va a usar this. Usted va a utilizar that como respuesta. Usted me va a decir, that is a bottle of water. Ah, ok. You see? Yo le puedo decir, Gilmar, what is this? Usted me va a decir, that is a bottle of water. Eso es una botella con agua. You see? Entonces, usamos that para objetos que tenemos lejos de nosotros. O al menos que no podemos tocar. Ok. Ah, muy bien. Podemos ver, pero sí, no tocar. Sería como para respuestas. Exactly, exactly. En pregunta y respuesta sería así. Ok. Sería así. What is this? Ah, that is a bottle of water. Bien, podemos poner. This car is very fast. Ahora bien, tenemos otro. This car is very fast. That car is slow. Ahora bien, supongamos que este es my car. Y supongamos que este es All right. Supongamos que tenemos esta diferencia, Gilmar. Ok. Y yo estoy cerca del carro que tengo acá. Y yo digo, hey, this car is fast. Este carro es rápido. Es porque estoy cerca de él. Uh -huh. okay. O estoy en un parámetro, o, ok, un límite súper cerca. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y supongamos que a un par de metros está su carro. Y yo uh -huh. digo, ah, that car is a slow. O Hilmar cars is a slow. Right? En este caso, that car Utilizo that car porque no está cerca de mí, su carro. Entonces yo digo, oh. that car is slow. Ah, ese carro es lento. ¿Ok? Porque está lejos de mí. Pero estamos hablando de nada más un carro. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, this es para cosas que tenemos cerca en singular. Como, this is a bottle of water. This is a cell phone. You see? En ese caso... Only one y los puedo tocar. Ah, Por ejemplo, ahora, si quisiera, quisiera decir, the cell phone is the color. Yes. Usted me puede decir that cell phone. ¿Por qué? Porque no está cerca de usted. Uh -huh. Yo le puedo decir, that air conditioner is excellent. Yes. Okay. ¿Por qué that? Porque está lejos de mí. Uh -huh. Ajá, bien, pues bien. Muy bien. Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre cómo usar this y cómo usar that, siempre con singular. Okay? Muy bien. Ahora, this and those es la versión plural. This, and then we got those. This for close objects. Ah, cuando los objetos los tenemos cerca y es plural. Those hace la función de that, solo que en plural. Okay. For objects 
plural. Entonces, yo puedo decir. Por ejemplo, si usted me dijera eh, de qué color son esos audífonos, no el par, sino estos audífonos, yo dijera dos headphones y es black, es white. Mire, mire, sería algo así, mire. What color are these? Ok. Uh, Airphone. Uh -huh. Ah, usted me puede decir, what color are these headphones? ¿De qué color son estos audífonos? You see? What color are these? ¿Por qué usar usted these? Porque usted está cerca de ellos. Uh -huh. Y los puede tocar. Aquí otra, otra cosa, usamos are. Como uh -huh. es plural, uh -huh. usamos are. Okay. Ah, entonces yo le voy a responder. Ah, those headphones are black. Esos audífonos son negros. Negro. ¿Por qué uso dos? Porque estoy lejos de los audífonos. Ah, ok. okay. Very far. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo los usamos. Ok. okay ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la traducción de this? ¿Estos o estas? La traducción de those, esos o esas. Ok. Right. Para cambiar de acuerdo a la cercanía. Exactly. También inclusive lo podemos traducir como aquellos o aquellas cuando nos referimos a objetos. Ya. Yes. Muy bien. Pero sí, sí me gustó eso de cómo contestarlo. Me gustó ese ejemplo del agua. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good example to show it, right? Esa es la forma en cómo podemos, ajá, de una manera un poco más sencilla, el poder explicar eh, cuándo usar this y cuándo usar uh, that. Ya. Yes. Cerco en yes. lejos. Ajá, esa, esa es la duda que tenía. Ah, no, okay. Era algo bien sencillo, pero estaba ahí que no, no, no comprendía como para eh, contestar. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, mira, claro. Tú no podías decir, estos audífonos son negros. Ajá, ajá. No podía decir eso. Ajá, exactly. Estos audífonos. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, perfecto. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta adicional. Like related to any other topic? Well, I think the doubt was superior in the class. It was in terms of count, which was the possibility and the ability, right? Yes, the possibility and the ability. Yes, I think it was superior in the class and I understood it. Yeah, I think that tomorrow we will, we will continue with that, with Ken. Creo que mañana, si no me equivoco, vamos a tener un tema igual relacionado a Ken. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah. ahí voy a share. Ya, yeah. ok. Ha... Eso sería nomás. Ajá, ajá. Ok, perfecto. Con la plataforma igual, ¿verdad? No hemos tenido ningún tipo sí, de... No, no, no ninguno. No, ajá, porque no, ajá. la vez pasada porque había que ponerle un auxiliar, el que no entendía. Ajá, ajá. Sí, entender. <risa> Ah, muy bien, perfecto. Sí, se Entonces, recuerda que me ayudó en uno, ¿verdad? Ajá, ya, yeah, that's correct. Sí, ahí estuvimos ah, con uno. Sí, es que había, ah, solía haber un pequeño error ahí, pero lo bueno es que ya sí, sí. vamos en sintonía. <risa> On track. Uh -huh. Good. Entonces, bien, para mañana igual, en la sección de discusión de la plataforma solo quedaría una pequeña indicación de qué van a hacer. Probablemente les pida un par de ejemplos usando this, that, this and those. Ok, como un, una extra evaluación. Ok. okay. O muy extra bien. practice. Vale, muy bien. Perfecto. Entonces, Filmar, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta. No. See, you see you tomorrow then, ok. Ok, muy Nos bien. Nos vemos mañana entonces, ok. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.